Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial of Redux. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 6. It's the year 2288. This is what our empire looks like. Bioforge supremacy down here and all the way over here. Pretty much filled in everything now. We're colonizing the last of the planets. We still have a whole bunch of these guys over here. Aliens. Mining core in there. This. I have 431 armor, some hull, mining lasers. We don't have enough ships to clear this section out yet. And we're leaving these ancient mining drones over here as a as a natural blockade to this faction. Not that we need it because they're kind of lukewarm friendly with us. The real problem is the Raxar Commissariat. And they have this stuff up here. So we have put a fleet over here. We've started a fleet there. We've put another more powerful fleet over here. We don't yet have enough really... Well, we have a naval, enough naval capacity. We don't really have enough money yet. Put another fleet here and handle this choke point. So my plan right now is to finish colonizing the last of the colonizable planets in the systems. Seeing there's... 4,000 space in me, but there, so we're gonna leave that alone too. But we're gonna start building up our forces along here and then trying to get some maybe some more trade. We're almost at the maximum star base capacity we can handle right now. So, any trade, for instance, that was gonna be sent down here, we really don't have enough star bases yet to handle the path to get them down to Bioforge. We might still have to try it though. Maybe two star bases will be enough. <laughs> Because what we need is we need a star base that could collect from this system. And I think if we put one and this system. So if we put one right here and give it two trade hubs and then two hangars, it could protect the route to here. And uh, we'd have to use a star base like here. This one's got a shipyard, because I wanted to feed ships into here. If we put a starbase here and gave it trade route protection of two or even three, it would protect from here to here to here. I think we could do that. I think we might want to start doing that. I think that's what I'll do. I'll use my last two starbases for that business. Because the alternative is then to start trying to collect from way down here, and this is even further away. So we need a lot more star bases to start collecting from all these. I think I have colony ships headed to all of these. And it's we're getting ready to anyway. I have this one going all the way down to there. I have this one yeah, going down to the rest of the way to get the other planet over there. And I have a colony ship right here that's gonna colonize that one. Moving to Coyote. So so let's start trying to Grab this trade in here. What else do I, where else would be a good spot to grab? To put the anchor, you could put it here. Then you'd need three trade hubs to get all the way over to here. You get one, two there. You put it here, you get one, two there. You don't grab these. <coughs> you won't get the two and the four. But you'll get this in these planets, which is the most important, and this in these planets. So, let's do this. Great map. And then let's go down <coughs> here and then upgrade this one. Yeah, this is the one we want. Let's do that. And get those started. And then we have a bunch of unemployment going on. Let's see what we have. See how we are for rare resources. We don't have rare crystals yet, so we can't upgrade any of these. Oh, wait, these take gas. That's great. Okay, we have two gases. We could upgrade one of these research facilities from two jobs and four energy credits for maintenance. So it's one more energy credit for maintenance and one more gas refinery, and this provides three more jobs. So we're going to do that. And that'll take care of uh, one of these people. The fast robot. I don't think our robot pops can work regular jobs yet. Let's see if they can. I don't 
think so. I don't think we have that tech, but I'm gonna look. Oh no, they can't. They can work metal or just jumps. Great, so we got that technology a while ago. Okay, well in that case, that upgrading that science thing will allow both of those jobs to get handled. Over here, there's nothing to upgrade. We just have two unemployed people. These can be upgraded when we have crystals, so we have to get that tech. We're just going to leave them unemployed on the planet. Three more people they can get to to uh, thirty to forty, and we can unlock another building slot, or we can move them. Let's see about moving them <clears throat> because there is this colony right here. This colony is Mizar. Let's move these guys to Mizar. Mizar. Let's move them there. Worker, a worker, and that unlocks another slot. I could put a gene clinic down. Let's do that. Let's unlock the capital building. Instead of gene clinics, let's do a uh, yeah, talk. Then Manu creates uh, creates unity and consumer goods. Civilian industries create trade value and amenities. Let's do that. I need some amenities. And I don't want to put a whole of the other down. I can do that instead. We're also going to create all of the food districts. And some more housing. Might move one of these city districts up a little closer to the top. Planetary administration can go. That plant's taken care of for a little while. These guys have one unemployed worker. And we have a mining district we can build. Oh, and then we're out of minerals. So, now we're done with that. This shipyard here is just providing ships to this area. Colonization in progress. Deep space black site. Construction complete. It's not really what I'm looking for. Let's see, they got Anchorage. They got crew quarters. Building already exists. They don't have Anchorage. Construction complete. Yeah, Anchorage, where's the... Who wants to have a tech? For what I want. Boom. This place down here has two trade hubs. So now what it needs is hangers. And an upgrade. This black hole station is just creating an anchorage. I've got a black hole observatory on it. <clears throat> and then uh, the only other things to really put on here anchorage when I get it. Curator think Research tank. complete. Crystal mines, alright, now we have our crystals. We can do upgrades. Um, hmm. Mineral purification hubs are the upgrades to the mining and robot modification points. I like that. What do we have? We have a void craft person here. But we have, oh, a destroyer and destroyer build speed. I'd really like one of these two things, though. Well, well we have the void craft person, and he's a genius. Let's do this. It's super fast, 75%. Construction Let's take complete. advantage of that. Okay, we have some more minerals banked back up. Let's get to here. This planet has three <coughs> unemployed people. It calls itself a frontier section. It's an Einstein. I'm waiting for this to get colonized so that I can make this the sector center and it should grab this and hopefully that. So a, a commercial zone is not imperative yet on this. An energy grid would be nice help with that because this is clearly an energy plan and I've got the E up here. Let's handle that. That only provides one job though, so let's give these people a few more jobs. And in fact, let's uh, turn that around so the jobs get handled first. This planet has one unemployed pop. We're using it for food, primarily, and city district housing. And we're out of 
Okay, so science ship. You can you went through this wormhole. Where does this go to? Up here in the Versac Empire. Um, do you want to go experiment with this? Can you go see where this one goes? Since they're friendly, you might as well take advantage of it to learn where all these go. You're there. That one goes to over there. Are there any other? Oh, and there's all this system up here. This this is probably a fallen empire up here. Would be my guess, and I'm not excited to to discover that if that's the case. So I'm gonna send you back to assist research at Einstein. Ruined worlds were the prints of decaying orbital stations in multiple tomb worlds near the Ashwik system. River interstellar nation once inhabited the Ashwik system appears to have collapsed into ruin long ago. Decayed hub is a junkyard of a planet covered in the irradiated, rusted remnants of demolished buildings, infrastructure, and vehicles. No higher forms of life are recognizable. You might gain more insight into this lost civilization by surveying any similar planets in this and neighboring systems. <coughs> Ashwik, where is that at? Oh, right there. So we were passing through and we saw that, and there are <coughs> Tomb World, Tomb World, Wormhole, another decaying hub, Tomb World. That's not in our space, that'll, that'll be our space much later on. Much later. This right here, this was going this is our shipyard. <clears throat> Sorry for my throat doing throaty things today. You guys are up there, you can you can get some upgrades. Colonies are colonizing. At least one of them is. The other ones are on their way. Yep, there they are. Taking their sweet little time. Construction complete. As long as on their way, some android named David doesn't sidetrack them for alien experience, right? As long as none of those ships is named the Covenant, we're okay. I don't know if anybody else is a big fan of the alien franchise, but I'm a big fan of it, especially all of the research complete. Research is done. Zootopia has the alien zoo, which is great. I'm going to put the Atokthan monument on it. I'm also going to look for we We can exploit the resource now of the crystals. But I don't know that we actually have any crystal plants inside our space. Where is our nearest construction ship? You go down here and get this. I don't think we have any inside our space, do we? We don't have a single crystal plant, so we're going to have to build them. We get a new tradition. We get a finished diplomacy. Uh, the amount we contribute towards the Federation naval capacity counts for twice as much. Finish that, we get another <clears throat> another one of these. So, a bunch of different choices. Um, I'm interested in synthetic evolution. But this requires synthetic technology, so we're not there yet. We don't have that tech. I also want um, galactic wonders because I've never actually built a ring world, so I want to do that sometime. That requires... Uh, Requires the mega engineering technology. You have to you have it repair or fully upgrade any mega structure. So that takes a while. That's the end of the game kind of or the end time. Um One Vision. One Vision, I like the monthly unity pop my mini uses government. This is kinda decent, but there are so many other better ones it seems like to me. <clears throat> For playing Defensively, 
And then the, the first newbie tutorial series, this is something I should have considered. Star base damage plus 25, star base full points, defensive platform damage. Uh, this can make your choke points a little more a little more better. But what I'm interested in is not that one, not that one. This certainly galactic force projection, naval capacity plus 80, fleet command limit plus 20. But also grasp the void for the additional star bases because then if we took grasp the void, we could build um, we could build a trade route from this direction eastward. We would have enough extra star bases to do that. So that would mean off these systems here and this one, these guys are going to produce trade because I'm going to put the commercial zones on them. So I'm not worried about this individual trade on these systems. This is nice. You'll grab this along the way, some of it. But it's the planets. And there's two planets here. There's Brachus Rex here. There's this planet here. So you could you could conceivably... Well, it's probably too much to ask to grab from here and Brachus. But you can get Brachus, these two planets, Einstein, and funnel it all in here. And it just means a whole lot of energy credits for you. Which, of course, helps in every way. So... For me, this is either Galactic Force Projection now and Grass the Void later, or Grass the Void now and Galactic Force Projection later. And I think Grass the Void is probably the smarter play right now at this second so that we can start grabbing this stuff. So looking at the trade routes, um, what's going to happen is in order to get him back to Bioforge, I really need to get them to here this trade hub. What is this building right here? This is, yes, this is a trade route. This is grabbing two and it's going to have two layers of protection. Maybe three by the time I'm done upgrading it. So what's going to happen is it's going to protect here, here, and potentially here <clears throat> if I put three down, which is what I should probably do. So I'm going to want some overlap in here. So if I want this, this, and this as overlap but three layers of hangers or if I want to go all the way to it and cover there and there and there then I would put a trade hub here. This could have if I put a trade hub here and gave it two trade hubs it would reach far enough in to get Einstein and then I'd do three layers of hangers and it would overlap all of these for protection. So let's do that. That's the first one. And to give ourselves a note about this, about what we're building. So this is two trade hubs, three layers of protection, meaning hangers, and then you put an anchorage on it. I, I make sure I get an anchorage on every single one of these things. So that happens there. This next one, same thing, one, two, three, so you'd want to do it here. So I'm going to do this. Same kind of thing. It's going to grab if we put a uh, well let's see actually it only needs the one trade hub it only needs the one trade hub because otherwise it'd take three trade hubs to reach that other planet it would take three to get over to here so we're not going to worry about that right there what we're going to do is we're going to put one here that has two trade hubs like that and it's going to have two layers of protection, actually three, so it reaches all the way to here. So we'll do this. Upgrade. That'll grab from two planets then. So it'll grab from two planets and have three layers of protection in each direction. Um, and so it's going to grab from Brachus and it's going to grab from Fox and then it's going to protect one, two, three out to here. So if I want to get this planet, this becomes the third one. And the easiest thing to do would be one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to put... This is a wormhole, this is a wormhole, this is a bad situation here. Arson Troop has a station in the system. We're going to put this here. Upgrade this. This is going to get... One trade, P3, and then... Um, for buildings, we'll worry about buildings when we get there. Alright, so with only three, was it three? 
Then I built no four. So with four of my new five, we can get all this trade flowing in this direction. We still have one one star base left over, so I like that. We're gonna have lots of trade flowing into Bioforge Prime. And this is this is what you have to do in the early and mid game part to to collect all the trade. Later on, you can make uh, mega structures, and once you have those, then then the trade routes become a lot simpler. Let's see what we have here. Plasma. Okay, we can grab the Research Institute, which research output is plus 15%, or we can grab the Plasma Accelerator. I'm going to grab the Plasma Accelerator since this guy over here is Particles Expert and he's half a genius. Cyborgs, he's got. So we're going to do that. But early in the game, you use all your. all, all a lot. You see, I have three star bases dedicated to defense and two shipyards dedicated to defense complete. up here against my one hostile enemy but everything else is going to be used for trade later on when you can build gateways construction complete then you just build a gateway on your home world and you build a gateway out here that's kind of central to all of these and you just collect all the trade here and it shoots straight across over here and then all these in between star bases can be decommissioned or i usually don't decommission what i do is i, I I flip them over to full anchorage so that this number just balloons. Bioforge Prime is getting stacked. We're gonna have crystals soon, but we don't have any in the galaxy to to help us. So I'm gonna put them on a planet somewhere. I need to get some started. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Crystal's down on this planet. <clears throat> and where are they? This can put moat harvesting traps on it, which is great. We don't oh we don't have the building yet. Okay, all we can do is harvest the resource. That's kind of a bummer. Alright, in that case, commercial homes. You give you some amenities. Uh, where's the mineral purification plant? Right there. Minerals, and let's see about blockers. We got a bunch and we have a bunch of money so interdimensional trade increases with our friends the mirror dimension by forge supremacy so we need to get some crystals down on a planet so we're waiting for you to hit to hit the max so we can put some crystals right here so populate yourself <coughs> right -o. This, this is the bastion over here, and we've put the defense super grid computer on it, which gives you a bunch more defensive platforms. So construction complete. Got the two penetration platforms on there. Do I have any point defense? I have one. That's good. Those, those, those. I have a G on there. Okay. Um, A H two. Let's put that on there. Ships upgraded. These AHs mean armor hulls. What they do damage against the best is armors and hulls. The L's and the M's and the S's mean the, the, how far they shoot. That's how I do my naming scheme. So, those. Construction complete. That can be stacked up. And then uh, we've got a science ship that finishes job going through a wormhole. Where did that one lead to? Oh, right there. Construction but complete. You can come back. have somebody doing oh and I got somebody at Spock I don't have anybody at Mizor why don't you go to Mizar and help oh, that okay now we got these guys he's built he's going to click trade T1 research complete and hangar bay and an update destroyer build car all right we did that now we have no, we have one thing, destroy our whole hit points for our Voidcraft guy. So we're going to do that. He's at 100% effectiveness for, 100% speed for researching this. This one said T2. So, that upgrade. This one is a T1 P3. So we do one trade, one hanger, upgrade. T2, P3, so we do upgrade. 
You can see why I like to put those labels on there because then when I come back to these, I don't have to look where they are on the board and recal recalculate everything in my head. Construction of complete. what a star base is actually, its role is. I've just labeled it so I know. This one up here, I should have done that with. It's a T2, P2, actually. Not Y. So, and I'm, I'm out of that. I can start collecting, I guess. These are cheap, so let's do the upgrades. And this one right there. That was just going to be Anchorage, wasn't it? I mean, just uh, protection. Construction that's why, I, that's why I like to label them, because I already forget things. This is already being collected. Um, from where? I don't have any planets right here. Oh, I have Rana. And this is being collected from where? From its own starbase? Is that why? This Anchorage. Where is it being collected from? That has me curious. doesn't have a train station on it. It's got Anchorage. Rana has Anchorage and all this stuff on here. It must, the fact that this has, this must just automatically be collecting from there. So we're going to do one, two, let's do three layers of protection here. Hangers. So people will get our alloys back up. We're hemorrhaging <coughs> consumer goods, but we know we can fix that. So here we are on this planet. We still don't have the tech. Colony established. Colony established. Awesome. Okay, let's do it. Let's pick colony. Let's do. I'm not going to distribute luxury goods. I'm just going to encourage people to grow. This planet. Is ideal for energy, although there's a bunch of mining here too. Um, considering how king minerals are, I think I'm just going to make this a mineral mm -hmm. planet because there's not a lot of overall districts. So if I grab all five of these and I have four left for city districts, mm -hmm. and I have a few blockers, so let's do this as mining. I like I like seeing all those energy districts there, but minerals really are king, and you kind of have to stay on top of that so let's do a mining district and a city district we will revisit later this is a tech world tech noir uh, i need to plan ahead i'm gonna build two food districts there because we're there we go we're back up some some food districts somewhere finished and people got jobs Um, to give these people some jobs right now because they're getting short on housing, I'm going to do this. This is a... This is a planet with just a ton of districts. How many blockers do they have? None that we can get rid of right now. What are these? Agriculture. So this clears... Research complete. Construction complete. Plasma accelerator. Photon launchers, very nice things to have. Physics from physics researchers, though, let's see, that's 29,000. Only development speed or proton launcher. Let's, and this is cheap. Let's do research station output. Do I have a computing person? He's at 48%. I have a computer person, and she's a genius. So if we go back to her, she's at 79%, which is just completely wrong. So. So this person now gets this guy as his leader. And he should come down, come down to Brachus Rex and what planet is he in? What system is he? That system. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to send him to Brackus so he can assist research there. This 
ship. Yeah, scrap that. What are you doing? Anything? Go home. I need to look at my tech tree here. Habitability modification. Oh nice, it's only three months away. And we'll be able to make our planets a little more uniform. So everybody will be happy and productive. Construction complete. Out of gases, we only have one. So what I'm gonna do with these two people to put them to work work is uh more food. I'm just gonna plan ahead here. Construction complete. As soon as I can start upgrading. Research complete. Some buildings will be in good shape. Habitability modification, awesome. Oh, and this is the toxic help. We kind of need that fleet command limit. Yes, food cross. Let's do this. I don't think I have a new world's person, and he's at 85% anyway, so I do have a new world's person. Let's see. 85% versus 90%. Okay. Well, we made a bonus by grabbing Colonization in progress. So give him this free person. You can assist with research there. Colonization in progress. Okay. Let's see how everybody's doing. Just this guy. Fleets equivalent. Everybody else can like Construction us. complete. We are not an official member of the Golden Pact yet. We can form some agreements with this guy, though. Form a commercial pact to help build trust. You can see it will increase trust. 150 will cost us a little bit of unity each month. They will get 21 energy credits and we will get 6 as long as the deal is active. So for trust building purposes so that I can become a member of their federation, I'll make those deals. Those deals went through. Yes. Very well. We will share. Research complete. Commercial pact? Sure. Destroy our whole hit points. Alright, what do we have now? Synthetic crystal plants and lith this is what we want right there. So this is, he's at 85% and that's materials. I don't think we have a materials person. And 85% speed is really good. So that's what we're looking for. That's the big thing. That's why I have some buildings up here that I'm leaving open. Because I'm waiting to get those crystal plants so we can build those so we can upgrade them so then we can upgrade these buildings and get out Construction of complete. on that. He's done. He can fly home. He's got a pile for it. Construction complete. Research complete. The tile blockers. Great. Finish that. Claim influence cost in war, exhaustion gain minus 10%, which is always really nice. Um, going to grab that. He is military theory. I know we don't have one of those guys. So we're going to leave. This guy, unless we have a genius for this slot that would do better at 75%. All we have is this guy here who's a genius and he's like level five. Let's see, are you better than 75% if we put you in that slot? Yes, you are, you're 85%. Fantastic. So you get to switch jobs. This planet is getting rid of its blockers and we have another one you can do. Blockers. Construction complete. No, 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 no. Hmm. 
Let's see where some of those other blockers were. It's so okay, so he's doing alright, in good shape now. All that stuff. You guys need commercial zones, and since we're going to be grabbing your uh Research research. research station output. The gamma laser unlocks a bunch of, of uh, technology in the field of energy weapons. There's also advanced combat rules. I'm going to grab that. She's just a great researcher for us. Okay, in this place right here, we said T2. Got two hangar bays. Where is it located at? Right there, really? In. We want it to go all the way to Bioforge. We can put three hangers on there. So we'll do a hangar bay and an anchorage complete. on there. Still looking for the anchorage tech. Construction complete. Have it yet. So upgrade. It goes to upgrading to Starhold and stuff. It's very quickly through your alloys, 500 a pop, boom, expensive, but so be it, gotta do it. Construction complete. Then it's just, by the time you collect all this trade and get it flowing to your place, it really starts rolling. So here, we want to make sure that you don't want this to go all the way, so you go like this. Click Construction on that. complete. Click on this to there. Click on this Construction to there. Construction complete. Decline. Let's see where, where I need this one. This one goes to there. Okay. And I have a little bit of piracy right here because I don't have Research anything protecting complete. along this route right here. So my are. Why is our station needs to be upgraded? So let's do this. That uses our last one. Now we have the plants. Awesome. Ripper Autocad. Ooh, place steel armor. Yay. Exotic gas refiners. We need that. I said we don't have a materials person. It's a material world. All right, planets that can make this stuff for us, then, like you, synthetic crystal planets. You, colonization in progress. We're about to build a city district. You do the same thing. Give us a crystal plant, and you, Mizar. And it's a little early for you to be giving us a crystal plant, so you're going to build a city district, and then how about? You start actually building something useful. Autochthon money. Or an alloy factory. How about get the autochthon or keep? We still have complete. one exotic gas that we can use for an upgrade somewhere. Or we can just start filling filling this out first. So I'm always a big advocate of do the do the most districts you can do first. Two workers. We're gonna finish out the rest of the house and have to provide three clerk jobs, so I'll take care of that. Construction complete. And on the Empire Capital. All right, you get a crystal plant as well. Research complete. And then we'll be able to start upgrading something. Search or exhaustion gain. Fleet command limit. I like that. Leader level and leader upkeep. I also like the sounds of that. Let's, oh, the society research is cheap. Let's do that. And you're at, do we have a biologist? No. Okay, so just keep being a genius then. You guys, what would it cost to upgrade you? 255. Oh, upgrade then. I haven't kept this fleet up here just exists and it needs to second wave I have a, a lot of ships assigned to it but I haven't built them yet because we've been using all our alloys to upgrade star bases 
Edict expired diplomatic grants and production targets. We're cranking up here on influence and we're not ready to go to war yet. So we might as well use some of this. So we're gonna do production targets again. Research grants for sure. And uh, diplomatic grants, let's just keep that up. That knocks all of our Construction down complete. 344. That's fine, we don't need to save any for anything else. Construction right complete. now it's better to spend it and get the benefits of those things. Oh, we're making a lot of food now. Um, let's do this. Let's sell it. Let's sell that. We're still buying... Colony established. Interdimensional trade increases. Another colony. Decision. Hot growth. Again, this is another plant. 18 total districts. So here's 9. Plus 6 is 15. 16. And then you'd only have 2 for houses. Um, I'd like to just make it a big energy planet, but... Anytime there's six or more mining districts, I really feel like my responsibility is to do the mining, so. Because you need the minerals. And they can always be sold. Um, let's just keep doing the mining districts. It's the smart play. We might put a few energy districts Research in here, but we're not going to do all nine of those. Advanced combat role. Experimental subspace navigation, energy nexus, energy credits from technicians, that's an upgrade. Research institute, though, we need that, and there's the plasma cannons. So we're going to do this, because we need this building on our research buildings. Oh, physics research tree. Let's get a bunch of good choices. This planet. Okay, same thing. What do we got up there? Exotic gases, volatile moats, no rare crystals yet. These take rare crystals to upgrade. So he's gonna get a crystal plant and that. Research complete. He's out of gas Ships upgraded. City district housing plus one and robot modifications. L gates L gates I'm not in a hurry to do. L gates are we're at zero of seven. And I'm not in any hurry. That that unleashes hell, so. I like this city district housing thing. And for him to be at 95%, it's great. Just finish that. Construction Generator complete. world here. We haven't started building anything interesting yet. Which planet is this on? It is Murast. Oh, it's right there. Not too far away from the main group there. Oh, and he has more harvesting traps. Oh, we kind of have to do that. But look. Still low on the complete. Because how many clerk jobs? Construction complete. Construction Six complete. of eight clerk jobs. So it's going to need a whole theater, it looks like. To get enough money to Construction keep complete. Up. So we're going to do that. I don't like to do that if I don't have to, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Alright, what are we looking at? T2. Anytime we have a trade. Oh, we don't have the trade hub tech either, do we? Construction oh. complete. I'm gonna go see if we can build a curator think tank. Construction here. complete. Curator think tank requires a curator enclave in the system. Oh. People grind me. Grand with the local curator enclave. So, no. Okay, that's the answer to that question. Hangers. <laughs> And you said more hangers. And you are three layers of protection, so you're a hanger and an anchorage. And you are T2, P3, so two layers of hangers, four. E2, your hangers. All these end up getting anchorages once I get these this part filled out. starting to look like a an empire when all this stuff is done when all of these shipyards and star bases are completely finished and the trade is reeling in through here 
That's when I start to get pretty happy. Research complete. So there to there. Right to there. There to there. Route these correctly. There we go. Yes. And we said right there. You are just paying base. What do we have here? This is what I want. A naval logistics office and the off-world trading company. I need both of these things. Um, <coughs> I need the naval logistics office first, so go get it. Oh, and I have a technology person for that. Military theory. You're at 95%, and if I go grab my military theory person... Oh, I don't have one. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. This... Research complete the gas extraction walls. Oh, so this planet has Incoming planetary features. Has more harvesting traps and max gas extraction walls. So always take advantage of these because they have such cheap upkeep. So we're gonna do that. Migration treaty proposal. Yes, we'll agree to that. Yeah, those. Uh, anytime you have those, like this. Construction complete. The gas extraction oil, as opposed to exotic gas refiners. You can see that the upkeep on this is three energy. The gas extraction oil's upkeep is one. They provide the same number of jobs and the same number of base resources. These can only be grabbed when you have uh, unique planetary, rare planetary features. So when you have these, put those on your planet. That's that's my advice. This plant let's see, has rare planetary features. What does it have? Max crystal mines. Well, right there. So we're going to do that. Get them on there early and get these numbers complete. built up so that you can do upgrades whenever you want to. City district housing. What do we have next? Railgun. Okay. And the railgun is cheap, actually. So let's do that. Railgun is cheap. What are we gonna do next? Oh, we need supremacy. We have to adopt this. There's no question. This is all the war stuff. Um, ship build speed. Ship upkeep. Naval capacity increased. Star base damage. So we need. We need all these things next. And that's when. That's when you you finish this, and the next ascension perk gets to be galactic. Colony established. Naval capacity 80 fleet command talks. And then we can be properly ready to go to war. Construction complete. This planet is probably food. Would be the wise choice here. We have a bunch of food. We have 17 districts total. Uh, and I've kind of made mining on planets where there are or other energy. I like the amount of food that there is here. So we're going to do this as a food plan. Research complete. Right, research complete. Research is Construction complete. Down. Advanced resource complexes. That's later. I'd like to have shields and a zero point reactor. Yep, I think so. See that I had to switch over to physics and get the ion disruptor. She's at 99%. What would the physics guy be? He's 879. She's at 99. He's at 98. Oh my, I should have just left her on the thing. She's doing good. The genius that she is. Rapids, rapids. You just keep assisting with research there, dude. Construction complete. Okay, now all these ones that have Anchorage can now get... Oh, we don't have tech yet. We're learning it. All right, all right, all right. Construction complete. Now let's put in that. And it's there. Get in there. We can get these upgraded before we run out. Before we run out. Before we have to start buying it. 
here we go. What do we have for upgrades? We're, we're max rare crystals, so we can start to do this now. There's five jobs available. So we can take right here and buy a forge product. Few criminals are right there. So. <coughs> I'm gonna give you guys jobs. That's gonna give us six complete. new jobs. And also a bunch more. Research complete. Consumer goods. So. Naval logistics office, yay. Oh, the paradise stone. Oh, the paradise stone. We don't need it yet, but it seems like it doesn't come around as often as I'd like it to. So I'm going to grab that just in case, because we'll need it later. This colony is a colony. Make sure that all my complete. worlds... This is a frontier sector, Brachus Rex, that lost its colony designation. So we're going to make it an agricultural world. Get the bonus for food. This is a frontier sector that lost its designation because it's no longer a colony. So make a mining world for the bonus. This one also lost its designation. It's an ag world. Food. Colony, colony, colony. Scientist game trade. The capital doesn't get a designation. Spock is a research world that has energy and food, so we make it to get the bonus. Construction complete. Get a 20% bonus. We give it to the tax. This one is going to be a food world when we're done. Let's do that now. Also, they need some jobs, so. And they need blockers. Agro world. Oh, this right, that's where we started. Okay, good to go. Good to go. Look at these guys. Their their signals like they're. Uh, it's like a mail, like an envelope. Research that's complete. Nice. Railgun. That was quick. Destroy hill. All hit points. Ray technology. Five hundred. Yeah, we'll take that. Help make us a little stronger. This, we should put a research institute on, right there. This adds 15% to your research output. Now that we have that building, we should put it down on our researches. This can start making robots. Unemployed workers here. To raise this up costs us gas. If we have the gas complete. to do it, we could also just finish two more jobs there with energy in the room. We're good to go. And the rest of this can be uh, city districts. These guys have unemployment. Construction complete. So we're going to do, and this planet is done with district building. So again, uh, rare crystals. We're going to give those jobs. So. This should start to, as soon as these start to get made, so they fabricators, as soon as they start to get upgraded and these jobs get handled, we should start to see this number go up before this episode is over. Let's see if it does. <coughs> the alien zoo planet. Oh, it's got a bunch of minerals and no mineral purification plant. Wow. 16 days away. Watching this go. Research complete. Ion disruptor. See the phase disruptor and the gamma laser and yeah. Photon launchers. So much good physics research, but she's kicking butt. She's at 74% on this, and what is he? 73. I'm gonna let him do it and earn some leveling. For his chosen area of specialty. Bioforge. Yep, so Bioforge upgraded complete. one of its and it about cut our deficit in half. Which is fantastic. I like that. That's good. And now that we have the Anchorage Naval Logistics Office, put that on there. Construction complete. Upgrade these, but let's do new logistics offices first. The places where we can get them. Oh, 
he doesn't have anything because you have to upgrade it. And we don't know. We, we know Star Fortress. Oh, that's why it's 1200 to do that. Wow, that's expensive. Neil Construction office. complete. He doesn't have anchorage on him yet. He doesn't have anchorage yet. He can be upgraded. By the he has anchorage, so look at that. He has anchorage, so don't need the logistics office there. And this one needs two more shipyards and a logistics office, and then he'll get a fleet academy. So. All of those anchorages is going to make our naval capacity go way up, which means more ships. It means we'll be able to adequately man all of these choke points. And then once I have what I feel like is enough ships to man all these choke points, Construction then I'm going complete. to declare this full arrival in here and a little bit more influence, and then we'll get ready to start construction. Complete. He's currently equivalent with us. Oh, and the ancient caretaker showed up. So they're on the board now. There, these are these are the uh, fallen empire. Overwhelming. Ancient caretakers in there. Research at complete. Gestalt consciousness. The beta refuge was meant to be fully dedicated to habitation units with capacity. She's forced to shift and focus towards cryogenics during construction. Notice, beta refuge is currently at capacity and not accepting additional refugees. So, how are they? They're overwhelming and we don't know how they feel about us yet. Okay. And I was saying, I thought they'd... Where are they at? Construction complete. They're the 001 continuity. Fallen Empire. They're right there. Okay. You can see their fleet here. Almost 100,000 fleet. Order restored on my Forge Prime, yes, because... Gave everybody jobs. Destroy our whole hit points. Another rare research. I'm just going to keep grabbing these if they're going to keep throwing them at me. Leader at lifespan. Ten more years. Starbase capacity plus two more. That's nice. Uh, I almost can't pass that up. So I'm not going <laughs> to. Almost can't pass it up. No, I can't. Anyway. Getting there out of consumer goods. Bioforge Forge Prime is about to... Uh, so let's see what we have here. This planet doesn't have very much for uh, amenities, so we're going to get a commercial zone. Mizar is ready to start building real things, so give it an ally. The zoo has a couple of unemployed pops, but we're stacked with districts now. It's, we're done. We just gotta wait till he hits 35 and build something. This has unemployed pops. complete. And we're done building the districts we're gonna build here. Do that. Passable map. Construction complete. And Bioforge, or oh, somebody finished another civilian industry and now our consumer goods are at zero and Bioforge finishes this one which it just did you watch at the end of this month this number is going to jump up to like 15 or something. 16 was almost right I missed it by one so that's great we're out of the hole on that stuff now super duper so now on these these stations like this that are trade and uh, hangar bays Actually, I should annotate Construction this correctly complete. my own self. Construction so now, complete. what I usually put on these, after I get the Naval Logistics Office on here, the only other thing you can put on here is uh, the Trade Office, when you have it. I thought I had it, and then I... What's going on here? I thought I had that tech. Oh, Naval Logistics Office, which I built. But I have the Trade Hub thing? Do not have that tech yet. Must not. There's a trade building that you can put on there, and then... And then I usually put hangers or... Uh, or... Uh, food. But the, I don't have the food tech either. So there we go. 
What am I building? Hangar bay, building it. I'm lost for words today. You guys keep being upgraded. Let's see what our trade routes are looking like. See, now I don't see any piracy on the north side. I don't see any on the south side either. We're pulling Ships 281. Upgraded. That number is just going to keep going up as we build civilian industries on the proper planets. So that's fantastic. Construction complete. No pirates. That's what I like to see. This planet is ready for stuff. I need alloys. Got to, got to put our guys. To plan ahead here. Mining district alloys. This, this can provide a lot of city districts. I probably don't need all these. So the next thing is either make food out of them or energy. I might have to go energy here. This is Moo Rust. Let's go mining. And let's go energy as our second one because we have enough districts to do it. <clears throat> Construction complete. It's tempting to make this another research world just because of the amount of districts I have. I know I can fully upgrade, <coughs> excuse me, a whole planet full of research labs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make this another research planet. Rust. Construction complete. Research land. Let's make this another research plan. Let's do it. You can always use construction complete. Got two right now, and in fact, move rest. Let's give it a name. Where was that plan at? Okay. Move rest. This is. We got to give this a better name than this. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Who's a smart person that we know? I like that. Science fiction game. Construction complete. Isn't it? All that as bombs. And we know. Then we know. Alright. Wow, I've gone over my episode here. Um, we're going to stop it here. Research this is going to be the end of episode 6. We're going to take care of this research here real quick. Photon launchers are done. We're going to grab the zero point reactor next. So folks, this is going to be the end of this episode, end of episode 6. We're just It's just a whole episode of continuing to uh, build our empire and really starting to get the trade stuff handled. So, we're doing good. Thanks for watching. As always, if you guys have a question or comment, just drop it down below. If you dig this video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. I'm really appreciative of all the new subscribers I've had in the last month, especially because of the St Stellaris tutorials. So thank you for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.